First breaking news following a Target 12 investigation within the past 90 minutes, Governor Dan McKee announced the retirement of his chief of staff, Tony Silva. Target 12 have been tracking Silva's proposal, developing a controversial wetland property in Cumberland. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live in studio. Tim, now this comes just one week or so after Governor McKee threw his full support behind his longtime yeah, chief of staff. Patrick, you're right. I mean, just last week, McKee said that he looked into the situation and found that Silva had not exerted any undue influence on the Department of Environmental Management to green light that development of the piece of wetlands in Cumberland. Now, we just caught up with Governor McKee a few moments ago about this dramatic change in events. We recognize the, um, the amount of, uh, you know, distraction that's going on right now. Uh, it, it's clear. I mean, all you, have to do is, all you have to do is look at the newspapers or, you know, listen to any of the media. It's, uh, and, we, and Tony's professional. He understands that, uh, that distraction can't get in the way of us recovering on the COVID, making people, keeping people healthy. Silva has been under scrutiny after Target 12 obtained emails and text messages that show he was pressing Cumberland Mayor Jeff Mutter about the deal as recently as March. That's despite Silva telling us he had abandoned any financial interest in the property back in 2020. Last week, under mounting pressure, McKee called on the Attorney General's office and the state police to look into the matter. On Wednesday, I met up with Silva outside the Rhode Island State House after he had not responded to our request for an interview. He told me. He welcomed that investigation. Any thought at all to stepping aside pending the outcome of the investigation? Absolutely not. Why not? Tim, I've done nothing wrong. Any second thoughts about trying to intervene in Cumberland and the optics of that? Tim, let me make it perfectly clear to you. I didn't intervene in anything. Not even at the town level? I have absolutely not. Never, ever, ever. Now, Patrick, obviously things changed over mm -hmm. the weekend. And again, Tony Silva is retiring from state service. He made $196,000 a year as chief of staff to the governor. So this might not be over yet, right? What does right. this mean uh, as far as the state police and the attorney general's investigation? Well, I, you know, Patrick, I suspect not much. I think the AG and the state police will continue to examine the matter despite Silva no longer working as the governor's chief of staff. All right, Tim White, Target 12 investigator, thank you. Much